If you guys had to pick one, which one would you pick? Alright guys, so we have two lovely wheels here, the Tokyo Drift and the Sector 9 Butterball. First look, um, they're both, you know, rounded off wheels. Um, they're both, this one's a little bit, you know, bigger, just a little bit. This one's 83A, while the, or this one's 80A, while this one's 83A, so that determines hardness. If I'm not wrong, 83A is actually harder than 80A. I don't know, this one, this one feels, I don't know, to me, I really can't tell which one would be harder. I feel like, I have a feeling this one's harder, but this one's only 80 and this one's 83A. Anyway, I don't know, you guys let me know. So, if you're going to make sliding wheels, second to nine, I wouldn't recommend in white because as great as the color white is, why would you want to be sliding around where you know it's going to get dirty immediately? Like, these things aren't even clean. Like, I don't know if it's the light, but what I'm seeing right now, it, it looks white through the camera, but it's, it's literally so dirty in person. Like, it was, it was white immediately when we got them, but... The moment we, you know, did everything, they got dirty, like, quick. That's kind of a downside. I think black just would work better because, you know, I mean, either way, things show up on black and or white. It's just how it is. Love the printing, which is lovely. I just know it's not going to last forever. But these, these things leave marks on the red while these don't. So if you want to piss off your neighbors, go with these. If you don't want to piss off your neighbors, go with these. I'm not going to lie to you. These, I had to order off some whack website. <sighs> I, I mean, it's not really whack, it's just it took kind of forever to get here through USPS. Like, they were supposed to be here February, they came in March. S these things literally came in a week. So, there's that. Also, $75, $33.49. These are the best of the best wheels, in my opinion, to get. I will say. These aren't even my wheels, they're Josh's, so big shout out to him for letting me even do a review on them. I'm loving the printing, it's cool with the little butter slabs here, with the white and yellow, just saying white's not the best to do, black would be more like it. Let me guys know what you guys think of uh, which ones you would get. Again, it's still all about preference and your, your kind of sliding ability, so if you're literally just getting into sliding, this one takes a little bit more power to get into your slide. This one's literal butter. Like, you don't have to do much. Like, you have to try to not overdo it. If you, Since I've been riding on these, when Josh let me take a ride on these, these things just start going. And I was like, uh, what do I do? So, again, guys, just it's all up to you. I mean, again, if you get these first, then you should know how much you need to push out to slide. So, let me guys know in the comments below what you guys think. And again, it's all off preference. Alright guys, so if you guys did enjoy that little review and uh, comparison between the Tokyo Drift and the Butterball Sector 9 sliding wheels, you know, hit that thumbs up, you know. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below of where you can probably buy both of these wheels. So, if you would love to get yourself a pair, I know some are expensive, but uh, do what you gotta do. You know, longboard is um, something you have to invest in to get better at, but I think it's worth it. Again, stay safe, ride on, I'll catch you guys in the next video.